Before Professor Layton was a world-renowned archaeologist, he was a brilliant university professor and puzzle enthusiast. So when a mysterious letter arrives describing a mysterious giant terrorizing the peaceful town of Miss Thallery, the professor and his beautiful assistant race to the town to solve the mystery of the last specter. I'll tell you what, Professor Layton's method of solving problems is a lot different than mine. If I found out there was a giant monster attacking a town, I would just find a way to nuke that thing from orbit. That way you would get rid of the irritating monster and destroy the town, thus leaving room to build a new one, which stimulates the economy. Kill two birds with one stone, or nuclear weapon. Professor Layton, on the other hand, wants to unravel the mystery by solving puzzles. And chugging tea like there's no tomorrow, which there very well may not be if you don't solve the mystery of The Last Specter. Quickly, to the window! Something that should be destroyed with nukes instead of puzzles, but I, I'm not a professor. What do I know? Fans of the Professor Layton series should know what to expect here. It's a solid puzzle-solving adventure. And I found this one to be quite enjoyable. I'm not a huge puzzle game kind of guy. You know, typically flamethrowers and miniguns mounted on trucks solve most problems, but when you're trying to impress a beautiful young lady in a yellow coat, perhaps puzzle solving is the way to go. The tension between these two is unbearable. You know they just want to get down and just solve some puzzles together. Professor Layton and the Last Spectre is brilliantly well executed. It really is. This is a terrific game. That's jam-packed with a wide variety of puzzles. You play the game like an old school RPG adventure by tapping on the screen and indicating what direction you'd like to walk throughout the town and environments. By pointing at the bottom screen with the stylus, you unlock clues and hint coins and talk to the characters on screen who move the storyline along. Frequently, they'll dish up puzzles that you have to solve. If you're serious about your puzzle solving, solving the puzzles on the first try will award you the most points. If you're a sloppy puzzle solver, like me, Professor? you can try as many times as you'd like for less points and use some hint coins. In short, the game is playable and enjoyable by those of any skill level because even if you're not very good at solving puzzles, the hint coins can help out so you can enjoy the storyline. Which is pretty good, it just reminds me of a nice old school RPG adventure mixed with puzzles. Some of the puzzles are extremely easy and straightforward, others require some real abstract thinking. Some puzzles must be met directly. When you spend your hint coins, you do so one at a time. The first hint is not terribly helpful, and then from there they basically just solve the puzzle for you. Like this one. Ah, just one little hint is all I needed. Hey, it's up to you to make Professor Layton look good and smart, because Emmy's got her eye on him. She should be right up there in the list of top 10 hot video game ladies with Laura Croft, Cortana, Ms. Pac-Man. If you don't believe me, just wait till later in the game when she goes all crouching tiger hidden dragon on some bad guys. The art design and music fit the style of the game perfectly. It's quite relaxing and enjoyable. And there were times when I solved a puzzle on the first try that I actually felt pretty good about myself. But it would have still been better just to bomb this thing from orbit. So, which of these creepy dolls is the same as the one on the far left? Can the answer be, it doesn't matter? Some puzzles must be met directly. Get out of my way and let me fight the specter! I love the thrill of a good- Later in the game, you spend your picarets on new weapons and armor. Like a chainsaw, maybe not. Professor Layton and the Last Specter also comes with a wide variety of mini-games and an entirely separate RPG adventure called London Life. You know what I like about living in London? Paying $8 for a cup of coffee. Professor Layton and The Last Spectre, a solid game for puzzle-solving adventure fans. I'll handle this one, Professor. 